Uh, good morning. Today we're going to be talking about the United States as an exporter of crude oil. My name is Daniel Martinez. This is Justin Jerome. This is Weston Gamerton, and this is Sonia Challenger. So I'm going to be talking about the production of crude oil. So the current oil situation for the world, there are three big players. We're looking at Russia, Saudi Arabia, and the United States of America. Now, each one of these players are producing around the same amount, but over the past deck, over the past five years, we have seen a trend. Russia has been constant. Saudi Arabia was the leader for the past five years, and currently the USA is beating them because we are producing more oil, and that's why the oil prices are currently low. So now I'm going to pass it over to Justin. Good morning, class. My name is Justin Jones, and today I will talk to you about the market price for crude oil over the past seven years. So right now, currently, uh, we're actually in 2007. It was around $50 per barrel, which is relatively low. In 2008, it reached the maximum per barrel at $104 per barrel. It was constant from 2010 to 2014, so it fluctuated, but it did not go too high, too low. Uh, right now, the current water price of oil, crude oil right now, at the end of 2014, we're looking at $50 per barrel, and as of today, the price of per barrel is $5.95 per barrel. And that's what's low as well, because the, the boom started in 2007. So around 08, 09, it was revenue by five dollars per gallon. Right now, we're looking at gas around 219, 220. So it's, it, it was, in 08, it was half of what it it was double what it was now. And right now, it's relatively low, and it's half of it. And this is a where I was showing how the crude oil yield prices drop. As you can see right now, we have 55.95 as of April 2015 right now. And at the beginning, it shows we we're at the same rate as that. So we were back to where we were originally. And now I'm going to pass on to Sonia. Good Sorry. And also, you would say become a major oil producer. What is fracking? Fracking is when someone is drilling and injecting fuel into the ground at a high pressure to release oil and gas. This is the main reason why the crude oil the prices has been changing for the for. Is it a good is it a good idea? What do you what do you guys think based off the definition? Yeah. No. No. Well, actually, it is a good idea because it creates fractures that extends <laughs> from wells and oils and gas, and then it pumps out fluid, chemicals, and it makes the wells run smoothly throughout the plant. Now I'm passing on this one. I'm going to talk to you about increased reserve development of new technology and improved efficiencies. Right here is the graph of our reserve capacity. It explains all four, all five regions, and then it gives us a total of we're at 60 percent. We have about 300 million barrels on the LPT, and our net capacity, our working storage capacity, is close to like 500 million barrels. Um, then. We also have the reserve capacity of our, which is our strategic petroleum reserve that has a capacity of 772 million barrels. That's the largest supply of emergency crude oil in, in the world. And there's improved technology. There's thermal intervention. There's chemical enhanced oil recovery, microbial enhanced oil recovery, and hydraulic fracturing. For thermal intervention, the steam, we inject steam into wells to extract heavy oils and oil sands. For a chemical um, EOR, it injects polymers and alkaline compounds into oil fields to help loosen oil and raw formation and push it into the production wells. As for microbial EOR, methane is pumped into the wells to push oil out. And then as Justin mentioned earlier, fracking, um, which I will explain in the next slide. As you can see, according to the graph, the, the well is, there's the well, and then the water with the mixture of sand, water, and chemicals is, is highly pressurized and brought down about 10,000 meters into the ground. And the pressure inside the well induces the fracking, which is, and these fissures are kept open with the mixture. And then the gas flows up back outside and is stored into the reservoir and marketed to the market. It's marketed through the pipelines. And then Weston will be concluding everything for us. So does anybody know what the strategic reserve is? 
So the strategic reserve was something that was created about 40 years ago that restricted exports of light crude oil outside the U.S. That uh, would make us not a player and wouldn't make plays in the U.S. very interesting for investment purposes. But uh, with Obama in office and the lightening of some of those restrictions, oil companies flush with cash started drilling more and started exploring more. Um, we got the competitive advantage now because we have the highest production. The, the lifting of the ban now makes it possible for us to start exporting oil, which will, uh, by the end of 2015, we, the oil companies will be ramped up for this. So what does that mean to you guys? How many of you thought that just last year in November you would be possibly working for an oil company? Anybody? Nobody thought they would? I know I did, because that's where the money was. Six digits a year is pretty compelling uh, reason to study hard and, and get a good job. That's still possible. If you're an international business, if you're accounting, they're still hiring, despite what they're saying about uh, layoffs that has more to do with exploration than it does uh, the actual regular employees. Halliburton, uh, these companies like this are actually more focused on exploration and they also do uh, service to the wells. They won't go away. So there's even opportunity for you there. Additionally, <clears throat> I was speaking to my fr a friend of mine last evening. He works for Chevron. He said all the senior management that's ready to retire will be retiring. A lot of them stayed on because of the boom. So that means that some of the middle management will be moving up, which means what for us? Job opportunities. The opportunity to move in and get those six-digit jobs. <clears throat> Does anybody have any questions about what the future of oil is for us? Future gas prices, some people are saying that uh, if we start exporting oil, that gas prices would go up. Turns out not so much. They're actually gonna go down more because we'll, have, we'll be flush with supply. Any more questions? That's all, thank you.